Hey guys, what's up? Last video, I told you about this wallpaper I made, and I got numerous requests for me to make it. So instead of me spending hours out of my day to make you all these wallpapers to your requests, I will show you how to do it. Now, you can either do this in Photoshop, any Photoshop you have. I will be doing this in CS5, as it is the most recent. But you can also do this in GIMP, which is a free software that I suggest you download if you don't have Photoshop. So this is what it will look like in the um, end. You will be able to choose what background color you'd like, and it will be a gradient or just a plain color, whatever you'd like. You will also have this Apple logo. You can change this to white, black, or any color you'd like, or just keep it the way it is. As well, we will have this glossy text um, that is the same colors in the same order as the Apple logo. Or you can change this to whatever color you'd like. So if you like it all white with a black background, that will look cool. But in my case, I'm going to be showing you this more complicated way. So to get on with it, we will go to Start, New, and I will be making it 1600 by 900, as that is my computer. And we will call this Test Video, just as I don't know what to say. And we're going to make it 32-bit RGB. Make sure your resolution is 100. I don't know why mine is off. And click OK. It'll give you with this palette right here to start. And to start, we're going to go with our background color. So I'm going to do blue, just like in the example. And basically, I'm going to take a color such as that to a lighter color. There we go. And over here, you might have a paint bucket tool, or you might have a gradient, but we will keep it on the gradient, as I'm going to be a gradient, and just eyeball it in the middle. Um, sorry, make sure you're on this option up here. Just click this arrow to bring it down, and click the first one, as this will use your foreground and the other color. And just drag it to what you'd like. And if you don't want it from dark to light, then just click the little arrow. So now that we have our gradient, we will start with putting in the Apple logo. So basically, I have this folder right here, and this will be in the description. It is a PNG file, and this works for PC or Mac, so don't worry. And it's basically a rough copy of the Apple logo. Not perfect. I made this quickly, but it works. No one can notice that there's little pieces of white around it. So basically, you just download that and drag it in. It'll automatically center it, so if you want it centered, you can keep it centered and have your text underneath. But for this example, I'm going to have my name coming out of the chomp mark, kind of looking like I chomped it. We want to make it smaller, so basically hold down Shift and drag the arrow. So basically hold down shift and drag the arrow, arrow to what size. This will make it so it doesn't go out of proportion as if we did that. So we could just undo that. So that's exactly where I'd like it. And it looks pretty good. And now that we have that, we can do some other things to it so we don't get confused in the end. We can either go into gradient overlay or we could change it to a color overlay if you want to change it to whatever color you'd like. But I'm going to keep it like this. And then we're going to go to drop shadow and I'm going to change that to a 60 to a 43% um, angle and I'm going to drop that opacity to around 50% and keep it on multiply or if you're on normal just figure out what you'd like I like it on multiply so there we go we have our Apple logo looking very cool now we're going to start with our text. Our text is going to be more complicated. So let's let my Mac load and we will click. Now I'm going to type in my name. And it doesn't matter what color you're on right now as we're going to be changing that. And what I'm super happy about having a T is that the T kind of fits in there in the Apple logo. Makes it look neater. Um, if you don't have a T, then you can choose whatever font. Right now I'm using the Bodhi font. I like this font as it looks pretty cool. But if you have a nice, if you want a different font, you can also use Steiner, which is spelled S-T-E-I-N-E-R. That's a cool font too. 
So now let's just select our T and we will go to this box here and we're going to go up to the green and it'll change our color to whatever color is on here. So then we're going to choose yellow. You can see a diagram of what you're going to have it like. And I will continue this for all of the letters. So there we go, we have all of our letters done. And that looks pretty cool, it matches up with it, but it doesn't look great. Now what I'm going to do is put a glare on it so that it fits in more with the Apple logo. So we're going to use this circular tool, which is called the elliptical tool. But first we're going to go over to our text layer over here. And this is important, we need to duplicate the layer, call it whatever you'd like. Then you're going to next convert it to a small object, our smart object, then rasterize it. So those are quite a few steps, but you need to do this in order to have the full effect. Now that we have it duplicated, we will take our tool, and basically what we'll do is cut off half and turn the opacity up. But we're using this tool to make it more unique and fit in more. Now we're going to go up to select and inverse, meaning that we will kill this side and keep this side. Now go over and double click on your original TechEd 1000 or whatever name you have used, probably not my name, and we will go over to color overlay. Now you want the top color to turn red, but we're not going to keep it red, we're going to go to white, and then turn the opacity down to 10, just like that. While we're in here, I will go into Drop Shadow and keep it exactly what it will. It will automatically adjust to what angle is that on. As Photoshop knows, there's only one sun. So there we go. We have our finished product. As I said, there's many things you could do with this. You could put your name underneath the Apple logo if it doesn't look great to you. You could make your Apple logo white, black, whatever color you'd like. Same with the text. Change the background. But many of you wanted to know how I did this, and that's how. Make sure to put in the comments if you have tried this. And if you want to make a tutorial, I'm perfectly fine with it. You can mention my name, which would be great, but you don't have to. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Peace.